Happy Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's Weekly Wisdom. Now, this week is week three of a four-part series all about peeling back the curtain a little bit into what makes Disney so magical. We talked last week about making sure that you hire the right people, that you have people that can live in to the purpose of your organization. This week, we're going to talk all about the details. One of my favorite stories was before Walt Disney World was even a thing, and it was just Disneyland. Walt Disney, that, the man, Walt Disney, was watching as guests would come into the park and he would see that they would just drop trash at a certain point. And he was really curious, like, at what point? Is it 10 feet? Is it 15 feet? Like, at what point are they going to drop trash? And so he and his team studied this information to be able to figure out how often do they need to have trash cans throughout the park so that guests would find ways to make sure that the trash goes into the trash can. You see, it was part of his purpose when he created this, that he didn't want it to be dirty. He didn't want it to be have trash everywhere. He wanted it to be family friendly, clean, not what you would expect to find at areas that he considered not dirty. And so he studied this information. And now, you know, if you walk through the parks, there is a trash can every eight to 10 feet or so. This is what it means to pay attention to the details. You see, your customers will always tell you what it is that they need, but they may not use words to do it. When you have that thing that the customers are always doing that's just driving you insane, are you going to continue fussing about it? Or are you going to put something into place to help remedy the issue? Now, a complete 180 to this was one of my very first jobs. I was a delivery driver working for a pizza place. We would have, the way that it was set up, you had the sidewalk that cut through and then cut around to go through the door. Now, the customers would go from here to here and cut through the grass. And it drove my general manager insane. And he would stand out there and he would fuss and he would holler and he would change the grass and he would do all of these things and put up the signs. But the customer's behavior wasn't changing. As I was coming in one day, the assistant general manager was talking to the general manager and he says, why don't we just put stones down so that the guests, the customers could walk across the stones. I thought this was brilliant. The assistant general manager was paying attention to what the customers were telling them. They were going to walk this path. So why couldn't there be that, that middle ground so that they could have their path without it tearing up the grass? The general manager said, no, 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 no. And he put up more signs and he did all of these things. And I will tell you, until they moved buildings, that path in the grass was always there. Again, the customers were telling him something, but he wasn't willing to hear it. And many times organizations get caught in that. The customers are consistently doing something so we can feel it. We can see it. We have that frustration. But are we paying attention to it? Are you paying attention to those tiny little details? Anybody who's worked in hospitality for a significant, for not even a significant period of time, for a small amount of time, can tell you that many times when something goes wrong in hospitality, it's not this one big thing that happens, but it doesn't happen often. Instead, it's these lots of small points where a minor disappointment happens. And after a while, that adds up. It's one of the things that Disney is extraordinary about is making sure that you have a consistent experience across the board, whether you're at the hotel or on the bus or on the monorail or in the parks. And the reason why they're so successful is they're paying attention to the details. They are mapping out the experience in the way that the customers are telling them that they need it, even if the customers aren't using their words. All right. This is week three, all about paying attention to the details. I recommend walk your organization as though you're a customer. Call your organization as though you're a customer. How long are you on hold? Do you have to hit 10 buttons before you actually speak to somebody? Do you need to hit that many buttons before you actually speak to somebody? When we put in efficiency savers, many times the efficiency savers is to save efficiencies for us for the employees, for the leaders, for the organization. It does the exact opposite for your customers or your guests. Pay attention to the details. This is where the customer experience 
is made or broken. It's all in the details. All right, so with that, have an absolutely amazing week. Pay attention to the details. Get out and experience. If you don't have customers, experience like your customers, your employees. Get out, pay attention to those. I will see you next week for our final installment of week four, Disney Behind the Curtains. As always, don't forget, you got this. I'll see you next week.